Have you ever dropped an apple into a bowl of water and noticed it floats while a cherry sinks? The secret lies in density and the internal structure of the fruit. Density is the amount of mass packed into a given volume. Water has a density of about one gram per cubic centimeter. If a fruit's average density is less than this, it floats. If it's more, it sinks. Many fruits like apples and watermelons have tiny air pockets trapped within their flesh. These small pockets lower the overall density of the fruit, helping it stay buoyant. Bananas and oranges with the peel on also float for this reason. On the other hand, cherries, grapes, and blueberries have very little air inside and are denser than water, so they sink. The peel or skin can also make a difference. An orange will float with its peel, but sink once peeled, because the spongy outer layer traps air and adds buoyancy. Even the ripeness of a fruit can affect its density. As fruits ripen, their water content and air pockets can change, influencing whether they float or sink. Next time you're in the kitchen, try dropping different fruits into water and observe which ones float or sink. It's a simple and fun way to see science in action and understand the fascinating properties of everyday objects.